everyone i hope you're all doing well uh, i'm here to just discuss a little bit with you about uh, uh i want us to tackle something on us being christians i just want to ask us uh, if we really know we as christians if we really know and understand our mission in this world because uh, we were given a mission by our lord jesus christ so i want us to just um I just want to pose this question to you. You as an individual, you as a person, what's your mission on this world? Yeah, I know it's a deep question, but I want us just to discuss a little bit of it and then we get to know and then we get the assignment and we get it done because it's assign the assignment that we, we were given. So, what's your mission? The first mission that I remember that our Lord gave unto us is the mission of spreading his word that is according to mark chapter chapter 16 in verse 15 the bible says that you go ye into the whole world and uh, preach the gospel so that is the first mission that we are given as a christian and i want to post this question to you are you doing it because that is the first assignment that you have as a Christian. It's not just a matter of a matter of being I'm saved, I'm born again. What are you doing with your salvation? What are you doing with the word that the Lord gave you? What are you it's not a matter of being a pastor, I'm not a preacher, I'm not an apostle, I'm not an a bishop. But you as a Christian, when you just say yes to Jesus, your first assignment and your first mission to do is to spread the gospel. That is what the Bible says. And now you might be asking me, well, how do I start? Where do I start from? Who do I preach to? Where do I get the word from? You know, the word of God, that is the seed. You remember the word of God in the book of Luke chapter 8 and verse 11, when he was talking about the sower, he went around and he said, he says in, in his word that his word is the seed. So you are given this mission. A farmer goes to plant. And when a farmer goes to plant, the first mission the farmer looks, for, the first thing the farmer looks for is the seed. Then the seed, he has to find the seed, he has to have the soil and the target of planting, that is. So when you go to you as a farmer, you are not a farmer for planting. You are that farmer who goes to plant the word of God. So you have the word of God as the seed. And who are the where where is the field? Where is the field that you need to plant? The seed, the field that you need to plant on is the field of the people that are living around you. Yes, that is the what the Bible says according to the book of Matthew chapter 13 and verse 8. It says that there were different types of souls, and those different types of souls, those are the people around you. Those different people, those different people that are living different lifestyles, those are the people that we are talking about. So you have the seed, which is the word of God, according to Luke chapter 11, chapter 8 and verse 11. You have the your mission as a farmer, according to Mark chapter 16 and verse 15. That is who you are, you are supposed to be doing. And you're going to tell them about, the Bible says in the book of John chapter 4 and verse 34, that the harvest is ripe. You know so when people arrive all of them they arrive they're ready to receive the word the difference is they're not they're they've not found someone to tell them about the word so you are the one to take the assignment you are the one to tell them about the word you're the one to tell them about the goodness of god and if you do that because the bible says in the book of second peter chapter 3 and verse 9 that he looks he waits for us he doesn't want any one of us to perish so if your brother perishes and you are there you did not preach to him then you failed your mission as a christian and that's why i'm telling you that today we get up and we start our mission the best mission that we have in this world is spreading the good gospel about jesus thank you all i love you